Uh, if you're like me that served in the military or served in the Marine Corps, you're used to a lot of different type of plate carriers. A lot of them are heavy, a lot of them are bulky. Uh, as I get older, I try to alleviate a lot of that pain and suffering and go with as light material as possible. Okay. That being said though, you are this kit is solely to feed your battle rifle. Whatever your battle rifle is, all right? This is an AR platform battle rifle. If you wanted to use AKs, uh, you use AKs. If you wanted to use whatever, um, whatever your battle rifle is, that's what you're gonna have to set it up for. The main purpose of this is to feed that weapon, okay? Protect yourself with the plates, feed your main battle rifle, and of course have a little medical kit and combo kit um, to protect yourself and to help yourself if necessary, okay? So, let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, a little bit, uh, this is the Cry Precision JPC number two, or 2.0. Uh, it's very lightweight material, but is ultra, ultra strong. I've worn this on many uh, training scenarios, many training ops, it works awesome. Very, very lightweight, it has vents, that's already inside of it. It doesn't come with that heavy, heavy 1000 denier, whatever the case is, because it makes it very heavy. This makes it very light. Um, inside here, my plates are AR500. I think they're poly, polyethylene, I wanna call them. Uh, and so instead of using a ceramic material or just basically steel plates, it's polyethylene that's sandwiched together and it is uh, covered with, um, uh, more ballistic material. What that does is it lightens up the weight a lot, but the plates are about that thick, okay? They're almost uh, three inches thick. Um, they're pretty thick, all right? So understand you, you're gonna get some uh, light weight plates, but it is gonna take up a little bit more space than let's say your metal plate or your steel plate. They are rated for, I think, level 3A, so they're not a four, uh, plate system, but what you get it is it's buoyant number one and number two. They're super lightweight now for that You're gonna pay at least three hundred dollar a plate. I said it. Yeah, three hundred So it's a six hundred dollar set of plates because of the materials and because of the way it's designed All right, but as you get older you'll pay a little bit more to not have your back breaking when you're wearing this again Like I said, I have quite a bit of magazines and kit on here um, the plate is to protect your life but you also need to carry your ammunition. I know there's gonna be a lot of guys that say, three magazines are enough. Yes, they are. Most of the time they are. If you're a police or SWAT guy, very rarely are you gonna get into a very large engagement. I know a lot of police SWAT guys that are gonna carry three magazines up front and then maybe one or two on the side and one in the gun that's good enough. All right, right here I have three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, no big deal. It's not, it, it's, it's what it's designed for, is to feed your main battle rifle. Okay, that being said, let's get through this. Uh, first and foremost, I have my Garmin. This is the um, 401 Trek. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna need some type of navigation equipment. I have it on there if I need it, and I have extra batteries, all right? Very simple. I have my three magazines up front. This is the AR platform. What I like about Cry JPC is that they actually have the pockets internal so you don't have to buy extra accessories to slap it on there. It also has an admin pouch up here, okay, where I keep uh, certain little items like my right in the rain, notepad, pens, papers, that kind of thing. I also have a signal mirror if I need it or just to check, you know, my makeup to make sure that I'm still looking good because if you're not looking good when you're wearing your kit, then there really is no reason to wear it. <clears throat> so, also I have a little FUPA pouch. This little FUPA pouch right here is, is a Chinese knockoff. It is not one of the better ones, uh, uh, but it works. And in here I have some of my, you know, just little admin stuff. So I have my little boo-boo ouch stuff, some Tylenol, some tape, some moleskin. I have an actual compass. Uh, this is the military compass. Make sure you have a Lenzetic official one. I have my flashlight. This is another flashlight uh, Surefire and this is a older style red lens and what that does is if I want to be tactical I can use a red lens and if I don't I can either pull it off or open this little gate and then use a white light. Okay. So that's on there. I, I tried different areas to put different pouches on there, but it just wasn't necessary. Just throw it in that pouch. 
extra batteries, a lighter, trauma shears, and let's see, I have uh, chem lights and a little bit of face paint, okay? So again, depending on what you're doing, some of this stuff is not necessary. I don't think I'm gonna have to go full cami, but you never know. I don't know how long or what I'm gonna be using this kit for. So I try to plan for the worst and hope for the best. But this little FUPA pouch, if I don't wanna wear it, it's fine. I could just take it off because all it is, is it's just Velcroed on the inside. You pull this up right here and you pull it off, okay? Oh, I got a pencil I gotta fix. So you pull it off, it's all just kind of Velcroed in here, okay? So I'll put that back in my little FUPA pouch. All right, it has two zippers on there. And I'll put all the links below if you're interested. I think this was like, uh, I don't know, 40 bucks, something like that. Gloves, all right, these are just regular mechanics gloves. I find that the mechanics gloves, although they're not as, I wanna say, ergonomic, because sometimes the webbing in the, in the hand are is not that great, I find that they work very well um, as far as not falling apart. The pig gloves are awesome. The pig gloves feel like a second layer of skin, but they're very lightweight, and then what happens is they start ripping and all that other stuff. Okay, so that's really not that cool. Um, Grimlock, no big deal. Very easy, simple, that kind of thing. I also have uh, a tourniquet pouch here. All right, this is just a quick tourniquet pouch, so if I want to, I just pull it off, all right? Going around this side first. This is a Condor rip away or tear away pouch. All right, inside here I have more medical kit. All right, bunch of medical kit and another tourniquet. All right, I'm not gonna pull all of that, but uh, you know, basic gloves, that kind of thing, wraps. You know, you could put whatever you like in there, you decide, it's your kit, okay? And I try to keep that as tight and as close as possible, all right? I don't wanna to put too much stuff on my right-hand side because I'm right-handed and that's where my pistol's gonna go, all right? So, what I have here, these are two more mags. These are Blue Force gear. Blue Force gear makes an excellent set of, um, they're patches, but they're more of a, let me say, um, they're just spandex, really, is what it is. It's just a, a very easy pocket. You can put you can put anything you want in there. Uh, I don't use these as quick drawer magazines. These are like supplemental to the front. So as I run out of magazines, I'll take this and put them in there, okay? That kind of thing. So it's not really a quick draw. What I like about it is that it's very flat on this side. So I don't have to worry about it. It doesn't really affect my draw at all. So because my draw is a low ride, I'm able to bring my arm down, pick up my pistol, and then go to work, okay? On the other side, on the other side, let's see. Let me set this up. That's always gonna fall off. On the other side, I have my combat knife. Now when I say combat knife, I am not a knife fighter by any way, shape, or form, any of that stuff. But I think it's important to have a fixed blade knife on your person if you are going to deploy, if you're going to some type of environment, okay? Obviously, if you're putting all this gear on, things have gone already bad. So what I chose, and I just painted it, is the Cold Steel SRK, all right? It's a very simple, uh, I think it's 532 seconds or 316 stick knife. Yes, it does not have, it's, it's a rubber, rubberized texture and I just painted it. This is all rattle can. And I just wanted a fixed blade, five inch blade, just something that I had on my person. If somebody was coming at me or grabbed my rifle and I ran out of ammunition, I had some way to defend myself, okay? That simple. And what I did is I used uh, a Molly strip here. I think this is from um, TechLock. And then I used a bunch of bungee, um, sorry, um, zip ties to finish it out. This webbing is pretty tight or pretty, pretty thick. So you can use the webbing uh, and not have to worry about cinching it or it folding in any way. It's actually a really good system. That's why I like it. All right, so just a little camel. And again, I have another two sets of mags. Same thing, Blue Force gear. Now on the back, this is where I put my radio. I'll, ultimately, I'd like to have my radio a little bit closer, but with all the magazines, I really couldn't do it. Um, 
I do have a push to talk mic or like a CB, you know, type of mic. It, it is a Taliban radio or what I would like to call a Baofeng, all right? You can get uh, weather, you can get scanners, you can get the regular GRS, uh, which I already program, programmed in here. And it's a radio. The thing that you have to understand about these radios, especially if you're a civilian, uh, is it's out of your money, it's out of your pocket. So it would be ideal for you to have some type of communication with the group of people that you are going to be with, okay? Now, if you're law enforcement or if you're military, you're gonna be issued radios. If you're a civilian, you won't. So if you're part of a militia group or you're part of a neighborhood watch, whatever radio system they have, those are the ones you're gonna to have to use or you're gonna to have to bring one for everybody in your group. The Baofangs are pretty cheap. I think they're like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, and you get the system. You set them up for whatever system you want and everybody gets one, okay? Comes in a nice little package and kit. Uh, this is an SOE smoke grenade pouch. I don't have a smoke grenade, but the pouch works really good with my radio, okay? Going around the back, all right? I tried to get the Haley Strategic flat pack. They were not in stock. That's okay. Uh, this is the cheap China ones. And again, you know, you can make fun of me for having airsoft gear. I don't really care. Uh, what I like about this is that it's small and it's compact. And if I wanted to wear a pack, I just take all this crap out and I just push it. Okay. And then that's it. You're done. All right. It mollies into the back of the plate carrier. Uh, it does have a water bladder. This is the, I think it's a hundred liters or three, I'm sorry, three liters or hundred ounces, whatever it is and it just zips up in there and that's good to go. Back here, very simple, Shema. I have a rain poncho because I really don't like to get wet. I have my navigational equipment. I have uh, an extended, um, this is the extended antenna for my bow fang. All right. uh, water purification if I need it. All right, this is just a Water Sawyer Mini. Very lightweight, doesn't doesn't weigh all that much. All right, I'll put that stuff back in there. Zip it up nice and tight, and you're good to go. Now, again, mission critical. What are you going to use it for? How long you're going to be out? Nobody really knows. Okay, but again, it's good better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Back here, I have my lighter. This is for my headpiece for my bow fang. So if I wanted to remain quiet, I also have an extra battery for my bow fang. Okay. And then because I'm truly a foodie, I have my MRE in the back. All right. So chili with beans. All right. So I hope you're not my partner because I guarantee if you are my partner and we are lurping and doing all kinds of secret squirrel stuff, definitely going to have a little bit of gas and of course old glory right there now this type of stuff will cost you a little bit of money i highly recommend if you're going to train in it i'm highly recommend if you get it please train in it uh there's certain things that you may or may not need um hydration is going to be one of the things that you definitely will need so have some type of camelback if you can uh, i think this is a camelback system uh, has a whole bunch of different deployments whatever as you can see it's a hodgepodge of colors i don't always go with you know i try to maintain a certain amount of color uh, as far as camouflage but again if you live in an armored environment and you're wearing body armor people are going to notice it's not going to make a difference a uh, supplemental kit uh, some type of headset ear protection you want to wear foamies wear foamies i don't care and try to get the lightest pair of uh, eye protection you can. Um, for me, this, I forget who makes this, this is 3M. 3M Secure Fit Eye Protection Lenses, ANSI rated, make sure they're ANSI rated. It's not gonna stop bullets, but it will stop any type of debris that's gonna go inside your face, okay? Um, hat, knee pads, elbow pads. I don't plan to go prone a lot uh you know because it's going to be a little bit difficult someone at my age but if you have it and you want it use it that kind of thing uh i also have the old 1990 military surplus pot i know that this is no longer in use 
I know that there's a lot of guys that uh, the new helmets are freaking fantastic. They're bullet rated. That is not bullet rated. That's fragmentation rated. Um, and if you can afford it, then please do it. I don't think most civilians will. I think they'll just wear a ball cap and call it good. You get you get shot in the dome. You get shot in the dome. That's kind of the way it is. All right. So I hope you guys appreciated this uh, video. Please go to threeriverblades.com. Check out all the great stuff that I have up there. Also check out Three River Kydex if you're interested in some type of holsters, some Kydex holsters, and any type of custom work there. As always, guys, please be safe, take care of each other, and uh, I'll see you in 2020.